A type of t-shirt that I think is super versatile and awesome looking is the boxy tee. Some people say that for an alternative for a boxy fit t-shirt, it's just a plain old regular t-shirt just sized up, but it isn't usually the case with this uh, because when you do size up, sometimes the t-shirt becomes a little too long or the area maybe around the sleeves become too wide and it kind of just loses that look and it just looks like a really, really big t-shirt. So I got the reason for this video back when PacSun dropped its Fog Essentials collection and it had a bunch of those boxy fit t-shirts. I had the chance to purchase one of the t-shirts but it just couldn't justify the $100 price tag for just a t-shirt when I factored in duties and shipping. In my search of the cheaper alternative, I think I have found in my opinion a awesome boxy fit t-shirt alternative that only costs $4 and that is the All Style 1301 t-shirt. So I was at my local Urban Outfitters not too long ago and I happened to stumble across the store selling these all style t-shirts for around $17. I really like the look of the t-shirt. Uh, the model they used to advertise the all style t-shirts made it look like a boxy fit t-shirt. Uh, but when I felt the t-shirt material, it felt really closely similar to a Gildan t-shirt. So I looked into the all style brand and I did find out that they basically are like a Gildan in which they sell uh, blank apparel like hoodies and other t-shirts. So that's when I thought to myself, if Urban Outfitters were selling these basic all style t-shirts for $17, could I find the wholesale price per t-shirt on a site like Wardens or t-shirts.ca? I tried t-shirts.ca and blank apparel and they didn't carry the all style brand, but luckily Wardens did and they also carried the exact t-shirt I'm talking about and they were only charging $4 per t-shirt. So what it is, I bought a few t-shirts as you can see behind me right here and the rest of this video will just be me showing you guys the fit of the t-shirt as well as my recommendations for sizings and whatnot. So the t-shirts are 100% cotton and what that means is that if you throw it in the dryer after you wash it, it will most definitely shrink. Uh, to avoid this, what I do is I just, after you wash it, just hang dry it. Uh, that way it'll avoid uh, the maximum shrinkage. So the shirts have a pretty thick collar and I think that looks awesome when you're trying to achieve that boxy fit look. Also, uh, the way the sleeves are structured, they do have a slightly dropped shoulder. I normally wear mediums for my t-shirts, but in order to achieve that boxy fit look, I did size up to a large. So my recommendation is to size up once from your regular size. Um, for your benefit, I also bought an extra large size, but I found that the length was too much on the extra large and it turned into more of a long line t-shirt. Having worn the t-shirt a couple times already, I can honestly say $4 is an awesome t-shirt. Uh, the weight of the t-shirt is very nice and it drapes just enough, but it's also not too heavy in that it breathes, so it's a perfect spring t-shirt. Um, also, if you do decide to layer a hoodie over the shirt, um, where the shirt will pop up under the hoodie, it won't fray out kind of looking like a skirt. It'll just kind of sit there because of the weight of the t-shirt, which makes for a really good layer. So at the end of the day, you are paying $4 for a t-shirt, so you are paying for the quality that you get. Um, like the PacSun Fog Essentials Collection, they are at that price point for a reason. It probably justifies the quality, hopefully. Um, but if you're like me and you just want to try out that box fit style, but you don't want to pay $80 or $100 for a t-shirt, I think the All Style 1301 t-shirt is a great alternative. So that does it for my review of the All Style 1301 t-shirt. Uh, if you guys have any questions about what size you get or where to find the t-shirt if you're not in Canada, feel free to leave that down in the comments section below and I'll be gladly willing to help. Leave any other comments, questions, suggestions for other videos also down below in the comments section. If you guys like the video, as usual, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this to your friends, that would help a lot guys. And thank you, I'll see you guys next video. Once again guys, thanks so much for watching the video. I do apologize for not being active on YouTube very recently, but I did finish school, so I will be more active starting now. Um, if you guys have any video suggestions that you really want to see, feel free to leave that in the comment section below and I'll work on it. Other than that, I